I know you gotta plan that real good. Like, and if you really wanna get a teacher good. in trouble, you gotta plan it. Like, if there is a threat to the health and safety of a child, the school system has the right to pull a teacher out in that perceived threat. If I feel like I don't like the teacher and the teacher disrespecting me, I'm gonna report the teacher. Somebody came for me, pulled me out of the school, didn't give me a reason. How can you defend yourself against something that you don't know what the accusation is? And didn't give me any reason to explain or defend myself. The charges have not been substantiated, but we're here in this purgatory of exiled educators. Hundreds of teachers who the city calls incompetent, racist, dangerous, or guilty of sexual misconduct have been paid millions. But there's no work, there's no duties. You just have to be there. You get your full pay. $65 million you are spending on housing reassigned teachers. And there are some people say, oh, you're so lucky, you know, Mrs. Terrace. You're sitting and doing nothing and you're getting your salary. Don't fool yourself. There isn't one person in that room that thinks they're lucky. People should know. People pay taxes. People should know. There are a multitude of paths to the rubber room. At least half the teachers don't know a rubber room exists. Rubber room? What are you talking about? The rubber room. 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 And the only thing that I could say is what a horrible waste. What an abominable secret that the Department of Education is keeping from the public. I never knew there was such a place.